Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, it is their lost. God have me to talk to you. It is their lost, not your lost. It is their lost. It is their lost. Anyone that turned you down, it is their lost. Anyone that rejected you, it is their lost. Anyone that choose not to accept you for whom you are, it is their loss, not your own loss. Hear me, because God has made you a destiny builder. Do you know that there are destiny builders? And that is who you are. You might not know that you are destiny builders. You can see that anyone that really that is open, that is open to you, that is open to good things, that come into your life will benefit something. Anyone that have that mindset that allow you into their life to be who God says you should be, they will see that there is something they are benefiting. You might not even realize it. You might not even realize it. Child of God, hear me. You are a blessing in disguise. That many people don't see. Like you are a walking blessing. Because in one way or the other. Everyone around you benefits something from you. You might not even understand. You might not even realize it. For somebody to even benefit prayer from you. That makes you a destiny builder. For somebody to benefit an idea from you. That make you a destiny builder. For person, somebody more to have gained hope through you, it means that you are a destiny giver because you are giving out what is important in life. Peace of mind, love and happiness. Hallelujah. But they choose not to accept it. Hallelujah. It is their loss. I want to tell you to be careful this person. Because when you are a destiny builder, the devil will always put people or grateful people in your path. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you release messages like this, there are people who will really not, they are who we are like, I mean, they say, what do you mean I'm a destiny builder? I don't have a big car. I don't have a house. That is not what it takes to be a destiny builder. Do you know that your heart, the, the way you talk to somebody can make you be the one encouraging that person unknowingly? There was a gate man. And this gate man, you know what is a gate man? I don't know, maybe some companies, but in some countries, there are companies that have gate men for security purpose. So is the gate man, yeah, the security man is the gate man. They call them gate men in some countries not the one that is looking maybe somebody has stolen no the one that will just open door for the car to come in and i will be looking after the cars and all of that so he said this gate man there was a day you know the workers will walk into the place and the gate man will greet everyone he will greet all the guys you know they are they are big big ones he is just a gate man at the door so he will greet all the top workers. Anyone that enter, he will greet them. He said there is this particular lady that always call and give him food. Whenever the woman is coming from home, he will prepare a homemade food he will give to this man. Because he know that the man was poor. It was a poor job that the man was doing. It's not like in some country that where that kind of job can make somebody to be okay. No. He said one day... This man did not see this woman come and greet him. So the man was concerned. Where is this woman? Something is not okay. 
And through that gate man, that woman was in danger and that woman got saved. God rescued. You know, some people will look down on people because, ah, this one does not have money to give. Ah, oh, this one does not have this. You know, a good heart is more than giving money. Because they did not even appreciate you thinking that they you don't have what they need. It is their lust. You have to be also careful, as I was saying. When you realize that everyone that comes into your life benefits, but along the line, some of them will betray you, some of them will hate you. Some of them will talk you down, some of them will feel unsatisfied. Always know that in the journey, you might be a destiny builder, but you cannot satisfy everyone. You cannot satisfy everyone. There are some things that you cannot give. No matter how good you are, there are some things that you cannot give. And those things that you cannot give are the things that some people will need from you. When you cannot give it, they will see you as a pretender. They will see you as a staging somebody. They will see you as someone who is not willing to help. So you must prepare your mind because being a destiny builder comes with a lot of things. But many people who will betray you and do all sorts of things against you, not seeing the blessing that you carry, many of them, many of them, hear me, many of them will realize on the long run that you were there to build their life. People don't know what they have until they lose it. You know, may that not be our portion. Just like a story of, a, of an old woman, a very old woman who is more than 80 years old. This woman has raised all her children. He said for the past eight years, the first daughter have not spoken to the mother. Not that they're in a different country, not that they're in a different state. Then they, they are in the same vicinity. The woman will walk past, the daughter will walk past her mother without saying hello. And when I heard that story, I'm like, wow. The grandchildren will walk past their grandmother without saying hello. And when I heard that story, I realized that it was even the daughter that was that is wrong. It's not that the mother did something wrong. It is the daughter that is wrong in the situation. That sold the property of the parents without the, the permission of the mother and the father because the property was bought, bought in, in her name or whatever when she when they were young and sold everything. Because they asked her, why will you do this thing? He ignored, he abandoned his family, her family. And she's raising children. She has three children. When I heard that story, I'm like, wow. Seriously, people don't know what they have until they lose it. You have it, this kind of a mother. Why she's still here? You are acting like this. I feel so somehow. You know, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel about it. You understand? So there are some persons who will never, what I'm using that to tell you, there are some people who will never appreciate what they have until they are gone. And I'm saying there are people there, that, there are people out there crying. Ah, how I wish their mother is alive. How I wish their father is alive. Just to give him love. Just to give her love. Just to tell her I love you. And somebody have, have it. They are not even greeting their age parents. For eight years, they will walk past them on the road, the same road. They go to the same supermarket. They will see each other on the, on the machine where they are paying. They will leave. Nobody is talking to each other. Nobody is greeting anyone. Nobody. <laughs> ah, the Lord will help us in this generation. <laughs> what a great loss. What a great loss. Not realizing that anyone that enters your life benefits something positive. It is their loss, not yours. I hope the Lord will open your eyes for you to see. 
that you are a destiny builder, not a destiny destroyer. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.